Uh, that caused a freak accident at Londiani Junction on Friday, killing 53 people, has spoken for the first time. The driver, identified as the 52-year-old Gilbert and Tuye Mungu, is recuperating at the Nakuru Level 5 Hospital. He's among nine patients who were taken to the facility, and at the time, he was still unconscious. Gilbert has narrated how malfunctioning of his truck led to the accident. Ken Gashuhi reports. A glance of the wreckage of this trailer, one would wonder whether its occupants survived the impact. It is the trailer which caused a deadly crash at Londiani Junction on Friday, leading to at least 53 deaths. Whereabouts of the driver of this trailer have remained a mystery. But yes, the driver survived and is recuperating at the Nakuru Level 5 Hospital. <laughs> Kwayo Darajanika Kosa break. Kari Kanitre Mushambio. Paka Pochini is Imam. Nto Yemungu explains that with the weight of the cargo he was hauling, it was impossible for him to control the vehicle. Kwa nerekea busia. Kwa kumbuka tu ni chigusa break hakuna. Ndiyo gari gari nimesikia kerele ya watu nduru. Mimi na tere mushambio. Kaona watu wanaweka kando kando. The Rwandan national who regained consciousness yesterday has been on this route since 1997. Nakuru Level 5 Hospital Medical Superintendent Dr. James Waweru says that this driver was among nine patients received at the facility. Among the five males, <coughs> there were two who had uh, head injuries and then the other four had suffered major, mainly head injuries and uh, lower limb injuries and the abdominal injuries. Traders operating along the highway have remained defiant to a Kericho County directive to move to safer grounds. Lakini vile wamekuja kuanza kusema zaitu ondoke, hakuna penye tuneza enda. The reason why I stop here is because I like their products. They are fresh from the farm. Deputy President Rigadi Wachagua is set to lead a fundraiser and joint memory service for the victims on Tuesday. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News.